Καλωσορίσατε σε ακόμα μια ενδιαφέρουσα συνέντευξη. Θα τη χαρακτηρίζαμε στο Sportal GR και στο Euroleague Greece. Μαζί μα ένα παίκτη που τον ξέρετε πάρα πολύ καλά. Έχει περάσει από τον Παναθηναϊκό, έχει παίξει σε πάρα πολλά ευρωπαϊκά μάτσα. Αλλά μα τα πει καλύτερα ο ίδιο, Λούκα Λικαβίτζη. So, Λούκα, thank you very much for being here with us. And uh, before everything, I want to ask you how does it feel being back to Greece, even though it's just for two days and you have no free time. It's always nice to come back here in Greece. I'm enjoying every moment, even the short ride with the bus. I'm watching the window and I see the familiar places. It's nice. I like it. Uh, we have, uh, let's say, many things to ask you. But uh, first of all, the news uh, is in front of us. So I want your comment about Nazmi Trulong uh, transfer to Olympiacos. What went wrong in Zalgiris, in your opinion? And what uh, can he bring to Olympiacos? Naz is a really good guy, very professional player. He was he was working really hard in practices, and uh, we didn't have any problem with him, I believe. But uh, you know, every coach has his own system, and uh, maybe he didn't fit in our system. So, so I really believe he's for sure he's Euroleague level player, and uh, with new coach, new team, he can he can show good results. Many familiar faces uh, at uh, Peace and Friendship Stadium tomorrow. What's your thoughts going to this game and facing uh, uh, Igi, Ignas Brasdeikis, and of course seeing uh, Nazmit Rulong again? It will be weird, <laughs> really, because I couldn't believe uh, that uh, now in uh, November two of our players will be playing in Olympiakos, uh, but you know. Uh, for sure, also Thomas Volkop is there, the player who I played with him, a lot of familiar faces, but it will be nice to see them, but when, it, when the game will start, for sure we will forget everything and we will try to win. Uh, let me take you back to your Panathinaikos time. Uh, is it true that you choose the number 19 here in uh, Greece uh, in, uh, in order to you know, honor uh, Sarnas Yaskevicius? Yeah, because number four was Tukian, uh, so I was looking for another number and I thought it would be a great idea to continue the number that Charles had, so yeah, that was the reason. Basketball is like a religion in uh, Lithuania. Uh, I've uh, heard many stories and many, uh, let's say, opinions about the reason why it's like a religion, but can you tell me your perspective? Why? you love basketball so much is there a specific reason i don't know it's we are very very small country and uh, we are showing really good results being such a small country and i think people likes that people loves the way we are fighting all the time and uh, in the past we had a lot of good players abonis marcellonis sharas uh, so it's, there is no one thing i, I believe but just from the past this game that people likes basketball and we are continuing that. How much time did you need in order to realize that when uh, Luke Pitino uh, was calling uh, Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, he was talking to you? I didn't know actually, I never watched Star Wars so <laughs> and he started to call me Skywalker, I didn't understand but then uh, teammates told me that uh, Luke Skywalker is uh, from Star Wars, so then I understood he's talking about me. <laughs> Zalgiris is your home, it's uh, your comfort zone, it's a place that uh, everyone loves you. When you were in Panathinaikos, you were pretty good. Why haven't you tried to get out of this comfort zone uh, one more time to see uh, how it is to play on a team that uh, has a the final four goals. It was hard. I remember. Uh, I was I was young back then. I was 23 years old, I think, and uh, for sure it was hard for me. My first year out of Konas. Uh, I remember it as a difficult time, but uh, it was good experience for me. New experience. I was with Xavi Pascal, one of the best coaches in Europe. So so. I mean, it was it was difficult, but I, if I have chance to change something, I will never change it. I will, I will do the same what I did, and uh, this experience was really good for me.
and uh, uh, it's just a matter of, uh, uh, of consequences, uh, the reason why you uh, didn't try to play in Spain, in Italy, in Turkey, in some, some other league to see some other things. It's, you know, every summer it comes time when you have to make a decision, so at that time maybe I didn't have many offers, but Xavi invited me, that's why I came. And now, again, every summer, summer comes and I'm, I'm looking for, for any offers, but you know, I like to stay home. Zalgir is, when you see my... the, the Zalgiri Arena full crowded, you say, OK, I'm good here. Yeah, I'm good here, but you know, anything can happen and I'm not saying no to try me to another country. So let's see what future will bring. Stelios is asking, would you consider coming back to Panathinaikos one day? For sure, why not? I mean, if I will get the offer, I will think about it for sure. Tonya is asking if uh, you miss Greece. Like I said, I miss. I mean, I'm spending every summer in Greece. I'm coming back here all the time and uh, yeah, I miss. Uh, Vimos is asking um, where do you believe that Zalgiris can uh, go in uh, this uh, Euroleague this year? Difficult question. I mean, every year Euroleague is it's, uh, harder and harder. So. For us, we are a small team, we are just going game by game and trying to win, to compete every game and what we did last year, it will be very, very difficult to achieve this this year for sure, but like I said, we are going game by game and if we're going to be top 8 or top 10, for us it will be amazing. Uh, Kostas is asking uh, your... Uh your opinion about uh, Panathinaikos, uh, this year Panathinaikos, and how was your time uh, back then? I believe that you answered that, yeah. but your opinion about this year Panathinaikos? Yeah. They, they have new team, a lot of new players, new coach, so I think they just need some time. And uh, they started the season difficult, but now they're playing better and better, and I believe they will play much better in the future. They have good coach. Very good players, so they just need some time. So that was it. Lucas, okay. thank you very much for being here with us. Tosano Lucas Lekavitsius, Yadai Polpa, Sportal Delia GR.